Shalom, shalom. First of all, most I want to say all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Baraka Day Yahweh, Baraka Day Yahweh Shah, Baraka Day Yahweh, Baraka Day Yahweh Shah, Baraka Day Yahweh, and Baraka Day Yahweh Shah, the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. All right, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, out of New York, who rule well, who taught us this truth. Salutation to the hopeful elect. The Akim out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. In faith and sincerity and truth, risking their lives and freedom to do so. Shalom to the few sisters that do listen to us as well. This is Brother Yarmar from the Great Millstone in Chicago camp. And I'm um, basically um, coming with a quick lesson concerning the times we live in. All right, these are some wicked times, you know. And, um, you know, we get into the prophecies and the signs. But the people of this generation are just, you know, a sign of the end, man. This is the worst that it's ever been, ever. All right, and uh, it's gonna be the worst judgment that that ever happens ever, because these are the worst niggas that were ever around ever. Like um, a minute ago, I had did a lesson back. You can probably thumb down on it to you know the worst niggas ever our lives today, man. And it's true, man. You go to work, you get on the bus, you driving down the street, and you just see the wickedness that's in our people, the two thirds of Israel, the heathens, mostly Jake, man. All right. Cause um, these 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 niggas are worse, man. These niggas are the worst people you can ever see, man. So if you got that spirit, man, when you're trying to say all oh, Israel, man, you must be out of your damn mind, man. These niggas have to perish, man. All right, this is Isaiah one, and um, I'm gonna start at one. It says the vision of Isaiah the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah. Jotam, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for Yahweh have spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they rebelled against me, even as the children of Israel do to this day, man. They rebel against Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. All right. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doeth not know. My people do not consider. They don't know Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, man. But all these wicked, stupid, degenerate niggards, man. You know, they know Caesar Bozier. All right? They know sweet white Jesus. They know what that nigga woman, that their mama taught them. All right? It said, The ox knoweth his own and the ass his master's crib, but Israel do it not know. My people do it not consider. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel to anger. They are all going away backwards. Why does scripture say they're going away backwards? I'm going to show you. All right. Matter of fact, let me go over here real quick. Let me go over here real quick to the fifth chapter. And, uh, you know, this scripture basically describes Israel in a nutshell, man. All right. And when I say Israel, I'm talking about the black Latinos and Native Americans that fit this prophecy. I'm not talking about uh, the, the Khazarians who call themselves Jewish and Israeli. Those um, rats over there in the, 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 that land. All right. This is Isaiah 5 and 20. It says, um, Woe to them that call evil good. And good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness and put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter because they make the evil to look good, man. And especially with these damn whole lot days, these wicked feasts that's out right now, like um, Thanksgiving. We just had a wicked one, they just had that wicked reveling Christmas, so called Christmas. All right, that Roman winter solstice, that Saturnalia crap. All right, whatever you want to take it, that Nimrod worship. Now they finna have New Year's, man. And they make those things good. But those things are abominations in the sight of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's not in the scriptures. All right? Not, not on the righteous tip. All right? This is Isaiah um, 5 and 21. Woe to them that are wise in their own eyes and are prudent in their own sight. Woe to them that are mighty to drink wine and men to shrink to mingle strong drink. Which justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteous of the righteous from him and that's what our people do they sellouts man and they coons and they wicked as all hell man and they'll do anything for um 
on the so-called white man, man. They stand up for the so-called white man. They don't stand up for the righteous man. All right. But, um, yeah, basically the point was in 20, they all going away backwards, man. Uh, verse 5, 1 and 5. Why should you be stricken anymore? You revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart is faint. The sole of the foot, even to the head, there is no soundness in it. But wounds and bruises and putrefying sores, they have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers devoured in your presence, and it is desolate. And it is desolate and overthrown by strangers. And that's why Israel could judge, man. Because they're wicked as all hell. But that judgment is finna come back around like it's like it's never been. Like it's spoken about Daniel the twelfth chapter. And St. Matthew the twenty-fourth chapter. Alright, Jeremiah thirty and seven. Uh second Ezra when it said the same must know it after death by pain. Why? Because our people won't repent, man. They hard headed, man. And then when we get out here and tell them to stop eating pork, stop committing adultery, stop smoking cigarettes, they look at us like we the worst thing that's ever happened since since the devil himself. All right? But there you go. This is uh, 1 Timothy, Salaki, this is 2 Timothy 2 and verse 3. It said, this, also, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. So it ain't going to be a good time, you know. If you're one of them latter-day Christians, them so-called Christians, look up the word perilous, because these are the times that's coming to the earth, man. Not no happy day. Well, it's going to be, and that happy day is going to be the kingdom of the heaven. All right? Which the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, the elects of the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, according to the scriptures, will be set up in their lots to judge the earth. Nothing else. But before that, the perilous times going to come. We got to go to the perilous times first. All right, this is Second Timothy. The second Timothy two and three. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Just cut on the TV, man. Look at these rappers, look at these movie stars. Hey, just go outside, look at these niggas, man. This is the perfect depiction. Without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fears, despises of those that are good. And they are despises of those that are good. Because, man, we out here laying down the law, statutes and commandments of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, And I, like I said, they look at us like we Satan himself. But, you know, that's because they wicked, man. That's why the scriptures, like uh, the brother Mathati often quote, man, John 8 and 44, they have their father. You have your father, the devil. He's a lying the father of it. And the Lord was talking to who? These wicked Israelites. Doing these wicked things. Traitors. Uh, verse 4. Traitors. Heady. High-minded. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of Yahweh. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such turn away. For of this sort they, for of this sort they which creep into houses, lead away captive silly women, laden down with sins. Led away with diverse lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now, as Jamerus, now, if you want a depiction of all these things, you think about niggas like IUIC, uh, but especially the I ITR, nigga Ryan the Nuts, you know, the Vatican boys, you know, guys like that fit this scripture, man. You know, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Verse 8. Now, as Janus. And Jamboris withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. And those guys are reprobate. So them wicked niggas that was around in the ancient world, um, pump faking the truth, pump faking the um, law, statutes, and commandments, see how about shit, how was shot. They back too. Being wicked is all hell, man. And the Lord gonna deal with them for that. This is, um, Hold on. This is uh Second Peter seven. Uh Second Peter two and um seven it said it's a lot of people. two and four. It said for if Yahweh 
spare not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell, and deliver them into change of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. All right, and that, and that was him speaking about us. All right, who who are the, who are the true the angels, the messengers of God, even to this day, being cast down into this this flesh. All right. And, and going through these things we're going through um, as to this day. All right. And then finna go on to Noah's time. And spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. So, hey, man, if the Lord, this is the same the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh who who killed everybody but eight people, man. You think this the, the Lord ain't going to unleash his wrath on these wicked niggas who even worse than them? All right, verse 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, now going into the time of Abraham, all right, in the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that afterward should, should live ungodly. So the Lord made example out of these. The, the Lord gave you examples. That's why the scripture is saying, Romans, the things that are written aforetime before our learning. Verse 7. And deliver just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. The filthy conduct of the wicked. The Lord delivered lot, man, because he was vexed with the conversation of these damn niggas, man. And that's, that's what we are, man. We, 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 we stand in a lot of, um, of, of lot, for lack of better terms. We vexed with the conversation of the heathens, the wicked niggas, all right? Verse 8, for that righteous man dwelling among them, seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Verse 9, Yahweh knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and reserve the unjust to the day of judgment to be punished. All right, so hey, man, the most high is going to get these niggas, man. We don't even worry about them. That's why in the book of Ezra. Right here in Apocrypha, man, he said the same must know it after death by pain, man. So, you know, you don't mind these niggas. You might be dealing with some vet, two-thirds vexing you on a job or something. Nigga woman vexing you. Hey, these niggas are horrible, man. Jake is fucking horrible, man. Hey, but yeah, how about Shimmy? I wish I got that Jeremiah 30 and 7 ready for him, man. All right, that Jacob's trouble, man, because they got to get it, man. These are the worst damn buffoons ever, man. So, hey, man, we got to walk circumspectly and see that we don't fall through the elements, man. And um, be like these guys and suffer their judgment. But with that being said, all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone, and to the hopeful elect. I say shalom.